Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen from Higher Self Herbs and OwenFox.org especially. And in this video I want to share a quotation from somebody about healing and letting go and healing baggage, pain, wounds, victimhood and from the past as well as ancestral baggage that we inherit from our parents, our caregivers and our society that we grew up in. So the quotation is from a, a very empowered, wonderful lady that I don't know too much about, but I can see she has clear wisdom, um, called Rita Soman. She says, no matter what happened to you in the past, you must make peace with all that. Unfortunately, most of us have been innocent victims of the victims, our parents and caretakers, etc. No one on purpose treated us badly. They all did the best that they knew. It is time that we allow ourselves to heal our past and rewrite a new story of our life. Else we keep producing more victims and this world would one day just end. Basically, yeah, okay, so it is not just important that we stop the inside struggle. It is extremely necessary for the survival of the mankind and Mother Earth. So we're talking about inner growth but also practical um, going forward and in Earth. Give yourself permission to change your viewpoint of yourself and others. Without your transformation, this world will remain unsafe. It is time to stop the blame and take responsibility for your own well-being. Let us co-create a beautiful world with our beautiful minds. So yeah, that's the quotation and that's from Rita Soman. Thank you, Rita Soman. So I'd like to create this video to express my feelings and thoughts with this. So basically it's like it, create, it takes a victim to create a victim. It takes an unconscious deeply it takes an unconscious person to act out unconscious negative destructive behavior and cr create more pain, hurt and victims in the world. So if you're like a, a very healed and conscious, mindful, caring, open-hearted, unblocked person, um, you will not be going around lashing out, being destructive, being unconscious, making more victims and wounded people. So the, it takes an, a blocked person to end up bashing people that they become so blocked with wounds and hurts and, and brainwashed, unclear, cloudy ideas and belief systems. So, so all I really want to add to this, I said, if you see through the spiritual eyes, if you, you see truth, so you want to see see what happened in the past. You want to look back, and you want to you don't want to dwell negatively or unconsciously in the past, because that's just like you know you, you that's how you keep your victim story and remain unempowered. That's short sighted, physical, temporary perspective. So there's two perspectives. There's the physical perspective, that's the expansive, broad, big, long term bigger perspective okay and then there's the temporary physical limited perspective okay so there's the spiritual unlimited big perspective and then there's the physical temporary limited perspective so what you want to do is you want to see through both perspectives you want to look at your past to the spiritual perspective and say okay it's, it's my belief person that we, we choose our parents we choose our place we choose with many people angels and people who remember this people being regressed um, lots of information about this. We're spiritual beings having a human experience and it's hard to deny this from outer body traveling, astral traveling, lucid dreaming, channel, con channeling, being in different dimensions, um, certain um, plant medicines as well as countless near-death experiences as well as, yeah, as well as memories of past lives as well and regression and all this sort of stuff so hardly anyone who knows about this will deny it usually it's people stuck in old stuck belief systems who have no experience or knowledge about this who just want to stick to their old opinion like what they're comfortable with in the same way as many people stay in a uh, bad relationship that's comfortable rather than being open-minded or unafraid to develop a new way of living um, that said, I'm not trying to be arrogant or say I'm definitely right, like could be wrong, but I'm just going with what I heard and if something new came along, I'm not going to be attached to my old belief either. So that's okay, full respect for everybody. So we come here, so what happens in our past is meant to be. Spiritually, it's good, it's meant for us. So I made a quotation on Facebook yesterday saying, people help us to heal, 
and they help us to grow. People leave our life, people come into our life. People come into our life to help us to heal and to help us to grow. Be it a happy relationship, happy friendship, or a sad or hard relationship, friendship, or family member. It all helps us to either to heal or to or and to learn and to grow. So we develop as a person, we deepen. So what happened in the past is a positive thing in many ways. Um, it's own we what we want to do is see the spiritual importance and necess necessity of it and that we chose it and there's a lot of spiritual contracts and agreements in the non-physical world before we came here and like we're in the matrix we get synchronicities and hooked up like operators in the matrix film channels have said this is like the matrix except much deeper great power all that is life is much deeper than the matrix but it's a very good analogy like we're in the matrix so you may see some people referring to life as the matrix so that's all i want to say about this video the physical perspective, which is the second perspective, we also want to realize, yes, this did happen. Yes, there's no, there's no like excuse for, for, for bad behavior or unconscious behavior. You can't just say, ah, whatever, I'm unconscious, and then you start destroying things. But we do want to see the reason why people act unconsciously or destructively or self-hurtfully or outer-hurtfully. It's because they're unconscious at that time um, I'll use some friendly words like I like to refer to myself or other people like we're like babies to a degree and um, with a certain level of undevelopment or development or certain certain amount of development maturity um, grown upness um, so a lot of us are like babies or children to be honest when we're unconscious the more unconscious we are the more we're, we're like babies and children and don't know anything like the way Rita says they, like Jesus says as well, forgive them for they know not what they do. Forget, knowing that people are like immature children who know who babies a lot of the time, we can be too, so no judgment. I have been in the past a lot, <laughs> like completely. <laughs> um, so that's how I can forgive myself for doing the most stupid and ridiculous things. I didn't know any better. I hurt myself, I hurt others. I've, I try and, and to forgive myself and for the hurt and pain I caused myself and other people. Um, so that's all I really want to say in this video. Um, once we can come to come to terms, come to have peace with the past, even a few months ago, a few days ago, last week, yesterday, years ago, our childhood, and we can forgive and let go, it offers the opportunity for us to open up as we heal and let go. We have a chance for our flower to to blossom and bloom and that's when we know then life is not just about learning and growing it's about creating because as we learn and grow like a child in school for example we're a different person every day as we learn and grow and as we're a different person with more knowledge and more wisdom that's when we want to create different things in a different way like the journey of life is like painting the canvas the, the picture the painting of our soul what we want to create so there's a lovely quotation I shared on Facebook the other day. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's a really good one. Almost there. Yes. Okay. You're, you're going to like this quotation. <laughs> um, when you are born in a world you don't fit in, it's because you were born to help create a new one. So many people think, we don't, I don't fit in, I don't belong here. You do, but you're just meant to create the world you want. So, so there you go. So That's all I wanted to say. So I hope this video has been of some help. Um, it's very important to recap, just say, spiritual eyes, physical eyes, see life through both things. So in bad or unhappy, unpleasant events happen in your life or to, in the world. It's spiritually perfect and meant to be. It's, it offers spiritual growth, healing, expansion, the self-development. And then you create the physical world from your spiritual inner self. You create it, use, posit use, the, use the information to grow the knowledge, the wisdom positively. Use it to be, use the new you 
to express yourself the beauty of, of that you have developed more, greater love, compassion, greater appreciation of people, of things, of life, events, of beauty, greater appreciation of your body, of your blessings. And then you go about writing and painting a beautiful script for the rest of your life. So it's you have to see things positively, but physically you don't want to deny that some things are hurtful, painful, unpleasant, destructive hurtful etc you don't you, you don't use a spiritual it's all perfect to override the physical temporary pain suffering loss like if somebody dies you don't just say oh they're in the happy spirit world now ha 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 you don't deny that people can mourn and feel sad for physical loss it's we have emotional attachments and bonds connections to people so you want t gentleness tenderness compassion as well it's not about being lost in the spiritual in the top chakras and similarly it's not about being lost in the bottom chakras just the physical world alone where you don't know about subtle energies or finer points about life that aren't so heavy thick and tangible so sensitivity and all chakras combined is the message of this video so thanks for watching thank you for your time i hope this video has helped and if you want i'd love you to uh, share the video give it a like um, share with your friends or family, subscribe, leave your comments and it would really help me, my channel and this video and this message be spread with the world. I'd be so happy. So um, Also look below for um, my website for spiritual life coaching of body, mind, spirit, my higher self herbs web shop, 20% off first time subscribers, lots of things for body, mind, spirit. Um, as well as to any of my two books that I've written or, or even more free content and YouTube other videos and stuff so thanks again for your help and thanks for your time and I'll see you again in another video and befriend me on Facebook love to befriend you there okay